and we're back. Hair and the Italian Stallion here. Hair fucking back and ready for action. He's always ready. He's always pumped. He's always buff. He's always chiseled, ready to go. Glad to have him back on. We're very excited uh, to have you back, my friend. Um, Glad to be back. Hell yeah, dude. And um, right off the bat, we want to get into the NFL. Uh, week eight. Can't believe we're already eight weeks into the season. It's fucking crazy. Can't even believe it. On by, man. Yeah, it's flying by, bro. And then, uh, so week eight, first game Thursday night, Falcons, Panthers. Joe, how do you see this going? Well, for the Falcons, man, I've been trying to ride with the Falcons as much as I can because I still believe in all their skill position players and just <laughs> talent around them. But it's been hard <laughs> at this point. And literally last time the Falcons and Panthers pit played, I was all over the Falcons. Yeah. And I think that ended up being a close game. I think it was like 23 to 16. But, man – I got to go with the Panthers this time. I mean, if Julio Jones isn't fully healthy, I'm just going to have a tough time taking the Falcons, especially at this spread. I think it's, yeah, minus two and a half, minus two and a half for the Panthers. So, yeah, I'm going to roll with the Panthers on this one. I think they're well coached, well uh, put together team. No, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, to your point about the skill position, the Falcons have arguably one of the best skill position, you know, offensive teams in the NFL, which is crazy because of because the, their record isn't good. You know what I mean? So the best it, one in six team I've seen. Yeah, yeah. So on paper, I feel like they should be killing it, um, and they are kind of killing it in like in, in the fantasy in the league game. in fantasy. But um, yeah, in, in record wise, no. But for that, again, I'm not a huge Teddy Bridgewater guy. Um, I'm gonna say fuck it, Falcons by three because, like you like you just said, the skill position thing. It's crazy that they're that they have that many and they're still, you know, struggling to win. It is. It really is. And yeah. all those games obviously have been super close and they should have won those games. They could very easily be what, like four and two. Easily. Uh, and I mean I, one, but if you they, they, so. they keep they keep collapsing, right? Especially that Dallas game. I'm sure that they they want to forget. Yeah. I don't think, huh? Yeah. That was, that was <laughs> Um, next one looks like we have uh Vikings Packers. Vikings Packers, yeah. Joe. How do you see that one going? Man, plus seven and a half. <sighs> the Packers are gonna win that game. I got yeah. you. I believe they're gonna win. Are they gonna cover seven and a half? <sighs> it's a tough one, man. I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna say they do cover. I think they're gonna cover. I think Aaron Rodgers is gonna light them up. His cornerbacks and Vikings are a liability. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take them to cover that seven and a half point spread. I I'm, I'm gonna agree on that. Um, maybe they so maybe they won't cover it, but yeah, they'll definitely win. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. But it is one of those games too where you can easily see the Packers winning by 21, right? Like a yeah. You know, yeah <laughs> because, so, uh, but you know, it's, it's a fucking division game, it, you know, might, might be competitive, but, uh, I think, you know, Aaron Rodgers has had a really pretty damn good year minus that Bucks game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, I'm rolling with the packs on that one too. Uh, who do we have next? We got, let's see here. Colts and Lions. So Colts are favored minus three and then Lions plus three. Uh, shit. I mean, I feel like that game might be close too. You know what I mean? The, the Phillip Rivers, he's just one of those guys that I feel like he can, I feel like he can basically compete with anybody as long as he throws two picks. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. That's just what he does. <laughs> but, uh, happen. yeah. Well, how do you see it going? Um, yeah, man. I mean, I definitely miss me a tight game. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Lions to cover here that plus three. I think, I think the Lions, you know, they're just one of those teams that I think on their best day, they can, they can kind of compete with anybody. Um, I don't think they're a great team by any means, but yeah, I think, I think they'll cover here, honestly. And the Colts kind of wishy-washy a little bit. They're a good team, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I like the Lions here to cover. I think the Colts are going to win. I think it's going to be a very tight game. I'm going to say, let's see here, 24. 725 or something like that. I don't know. That's a real score, but <laughs> no, dude. I, I I definitely like that. I was thinking 27, 24 or 2017, something like that. So yeah, I definitely like that. That's good. Uh, who do we have next? Uh, let's see. You've got the Patriots and Bills. 
I like Bills a lot in that game. Yeah, my minus, minus three and a half for the Bills. I think – I kind of think they easily cover it, especially since uh, – I mean, you know, Cam in his prime was really good. I think he had a little bit of resurgence this year. But, um, you, you, I, you know, it was kind of back – I say a little bit because, it, you know, it hasn't been super impactful. He got pulled last week. And um, I feel like um, he was mainly successful against the Raiders, which – Kind of hurt my heart this year. Yeah, it's like one of the main games that he like <laughs> tore it up in. But, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, how do you see it going? Um, man, that's a tough one too. But if I'm going off what I've seen from Cam these past what is it two games now he's been back? Yeah, oh, man, and the Bills have, do have a good defense, and yep. I think they're something healthier. I think Trey White's back. Yeah, I think the Bills cover here. Um, I like them to win, yeah. I think they'll cover in this one. Patriots will be tough. It's going to be a tight game, I think, all the way through. But I think the Bills end up pulling it off and covering. 100% agree on that one, bro. Who we got next? We got Titans and Bengals. Damn, bro. I feel like, you know, Titans just uh, – they were getting their ass beat last week and then came back roaring against the Steelers. Um, of course, you know, still ended up losing. But uh, I feel like this is going to be a – comeback game for them and I feel really bad for the Bengals in this game yeah at minus six for the Titans I'm all over that honestly I'll probably <laughs> be placing a bet on that um, to be honest like minus six I think Derrick Henry's gonna absolutely run through that defense so yeah, yeah Titans, I wouldn't be surprised they won by 14 points so or it's one of those games where it could get ugly right yeah 14 is yeah, probably a good so. guess but it, it it can easily go 21, 28 even. 28. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Derek Henry, real quick, um, I feel like, uh, you know, like if, a, if an alien race came and wanted to identify us and be like, hey, show us, like, your prime form, I feel like he's one of the guys we'd have to offer, right? I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Henry's just that, – that dude's built like a damn – Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? A damn minotaur or whatever. That was that, that is crazy. He's crazy. Something that shouldn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who do we got next? Um, the Las Vegas Raider and the Cleveland Browns. Browns are minus two and a half favorites. Okay, I I I like those odds just because um, the Browns are five and two, but they've also been, even though they're five and two, they have been wishy washy during the season too, which is crazy. Baker came back at the end of the last game and won it. Um, and then uh, as much as I love the Raiders, they're in my heart and soul. They, you know, we're just a weird team, bro. Our defense is very, very suspect. It's been suspect for years. Um, I feel like we can score. Um, if you look at that Chiefs game, you know, put up 40, but that yeah. Chiefs defense isn't great either. Um, you know, so I don't know, man. I, I'd like to say, you know, Raiders by three. But that's probably my heart speaking, to be honest. Uh, it just I guess it depends what Browns team shows up, too. Yeah. How do you see it going? Um, I'm all over the Raiders here, I think, a plus two and a half. Okay. Um, I think they cover that. I think they win. Honestly, I think they're going to win the game. Okay. So, and and uh, is that because matchup-wise, or or what, what what's your thoughts on that? So, personally, I think the Raiders are a pretty good team this year. Um, what are they, three and three now? Yeah, three and three, unfortunately. They've had probably the toughest schedule, I think, all year. Um, you hear that? They've had a tough schedule so far, you fucks. <laughs> yeah, Chiefs, Patriots, Bills, Saints, Bucks. Yeah. And shit, Panthers are even a good team. Um, yeah, I think I think the Raiders are the better team here. Um, I think they match up well against the Browns. Odell's out for the year, so yeah. True. Well, I like what I'm hearing, Joe. I like that. I need, I need a Raider victory bad after last week. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think they'll be good here. For sure. Uh, who we got next? Jets and Chiefs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, bro. I mean, I don't even know if we have to cover that one, bro. It's kind of – I want to <laughs> give them respect because they're a professional team. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 20 and a half. Shit, dude. <laughs> I think I, so. Yeah, bro. I mean, I feel like that that's a game where Patrick Mahomes plays two quarters. I'm not even playing with you. Yeah, where it's like 40 to... <laughs> <laughs> Just give him some respect, bro. Give him a little bit of respect. <laughs> yeah. I do not think Sam Donald's a bad quarterback. I will say that. 
yeah um now speaking about that do, do you agree with them tanking to get trevor lawrence next year or you think they'd be giving up on on darnold too quick what's your thoughts on that man i don't i honestly i don't think it matters who goes there <laughs> like that's just such a poorly run team with such poor personnel they got to do like a whole restructure kind of like the browns have kind of been doing um yeah, I, I think – I don't think Sam Darnold's a problem, to be honest. Like, I don't think Sam Darnold's a great quarterback by any means. He's still young as hell. Yeah. I think he has potential. I still think he's a pretty decent quarterback. But, yeah, I don't think Sam Darnold's a problem with that team for the most part. So, I mean, Trevor Lawrence, obviously, like, who the hell wouldn't want to get that guy? Yeah. So, if they are the first pick, which most likely they will be, yeah, 100% mm-hmm. Trevor Lawrence, I would think. But I don't think he's going to save them um, for a couple years so they can rebuild. Now, uh, I'm not huge into college football, but I've been following Trevor for three years. I love the kid. I think he's awesome. I personally, I feel bad for him if the Jets get him. Like you said, very poor run team. That offensive line's horrendous. That kid's going to be – I think it'll be like uh, – you remember when David Carr got drafted to the Texans and he was just running for his life every game? I feel like that's going to be the case, bro. Yeah, I could see, I could definitely see that happening. I mean, yeah, every play Sam Darnold's scrambling somewhere, so he's never got allowed to sit in a pocket and make a read. And on top of that, their best receiver is Jamison Crowder, who I think was cut by the Redskins or traded or whatever. But oh my God, that's just cra- but it, that that just spell that just uh, basically yells out tank, right? I mean, it seems like they're not really trying to win. No, yeah, I I don't think so. I think Gase has maybe one more week left before he's canned. So yeah, no, for reals. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we didn't have to say it. But, yes, Chiefs, of course, taking that game. Uh, what's who's next? So, I see right here is, it's the Rams versus the Dolphins, but it says canceled under that game. Um, Somebody get COVID? Uh, that right, because the, the Rams played on Monday night, right? Oh, they did. Oh, but... It's Sunday anyway. It's a new week. But That's just weird. Let me check oh, unless, unless they have their – oh, no, wait. Yeah, Rams-Dolphins. Well, let's pretend like it is happening because I, I, on my end, I feel it says that it's happening. So Rams are favored by minus four. Uh huh. Two is going to start. I like the Rams here for that reason. Um, it's not that I don't think two is a good quarterback and will be a good quarterback, but this is his first game starting. He's a rookie QB at the end of the day. I thought the Dolphins are a great team. They've been playing well, um, but I think a lot of that was attributed to Matt or Fitzpatrick. So at minus four, I like the Rams to cover here. Okay, real quick on that. Being that the Dolphins are in, they're still in the race right now. That you're right, they've been playing decent. Why make the change if Fitzpatrick's playing all right? Like, what? What? I I can't figure it out, bro. Couldn't figure it out at all either. That's uh, that was very shocking. I think Fitzpatrick's been playing great. He um, he I has. Mean, and now been playing great, so I don't know. That's weird. Now, now it's one thing if they were like one in five or like you know you know what I mean, yeah. like a horrible record. Yeah, throw in the kid, let him get some reps in, in uh, live reps but right here they're like i think they're second in the division they're right there competitive. They're a competitive team right now yeah yeah now again i i love eddie bravo i love the conspiracy theories <laughs> uh every, after that um after last year's draft when the cardinals drafted uh kyler murray the year after they drafted uh was it rosen mm-hmm. yes I, I can't put anybody aside from being drafted anymore. Do you think – are they trying to tank and possibly get Trevor? I feel like – you know what I mean? And then blockbuster trade to us somewhere? It's just I, I don't understand why they would do that, the whole uh, starting to a thing. Yeah, honestly, it makes zero sense. I mean, I, at this point, the fact that it makes no sense at all, I, that might be a possibility. <laughs> honestly, feel like, yeah, I honestly feel like they weren't – they didn't think they were going to be doing this good. Were they three and three? I think. Yeah. They probably were thinking they're going to be one and five or zero oh and six at this point. Yep. And so they're going to put two in there and see what he could do, and then end up getting a you know a premium draft pick. But that didn't work out, obviously. So maybe they're just trying to jump on the pedal now and end up getting a better draft pick. I have no idea. Um, I think it's too late to get Trevor Lawrence. He's going number one, probably to the Jets uh, or you know, it's like the Giants. I think are up there. Redskins, all those teams in the NFC East. Oh so yeah. Oh, bro, you forgot the Washington football team. Washington. Yeah, Washington football team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I'm old school. They're, they're the Redskins to me. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but 
yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they are a little bit late to it. They have three wins already. Um, I don't know, though. That's the only conclusion I can come up with. You know what I mean? I don't I see why I do that. Awesome, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Who do we got? Who do we got next? We got the Jags. Wait. No, that's. Because the Jags and Chargers played last week, didn't they? Uh, no, the Broncos Chargers this week. Broncos Chargers, okay. And do you have the Saints and Bears next? Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Broncos Chargers. And what's the spread on that one? I don't have a spread on that one for me. You know what? I don't know, but I think the Chargers are probably favored. That Herbert kid's been been playing good. Um, the Broncos have been, you know, kind of hit and miss this year. Uh, they their starting quarterback missed some time. Um, they have a couple injuries for sure, and they, like I said, I, I like Herbert. Herbert's been balling. So, um, on just on that note, I think I have Chargers winning that game, maybe by, I don't know, a touchdown or, or at least. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I think the Chargers win by probably a touchdown or two. Yep. Um, and then uh, we said Saints Bears. Bears. Now. Minus four and a half Saints. Yeah, I. So Michael Thomas supposedly might be back for this one. Um, it might, you know, he's been saying that for like the past two, three weeks, I think, but supposedly this is, um, a game where they're, you know, letting him take reps and all that good stuff. Uh, the bears got exposed hard on Monday night, you know, against the Rams. Um, I think if Michael Thomas plays, Drew Brees is just, you know, does his, his thing. I think they should beat the bears, but, uh, how do you see it going? Yeah, I'm with you on that too. I think that Saints defense is still pretty good. And I think they're going to give Foles a really tough time in the bears offense. And, yeah, if Michael Thomas is back, Saints all day at that spread. If not, I still think they would cover at minus four and a half. I think the Bears got exposed for the um, five and two team or five and one team that they're <laughs> yeah. That's the worst five and one team I've ever seen. So, yeah, I got the Saints covering here. I think there's just too much, uh, too much talent on that team and they're too well coached to be losing to the Bears. 100% agree. And on that note, I think it's uh, Niners Seahawks up next. Um, Everyone. The 49ers have been a weird team this year too. They're yeah. they're losing to the they lose to the Dolphins and get spanked by the Eagles, I think it was. Um, but then they beat who they beat last week. Um, they beat the Patriots. They spanked the Patriots. Smoked them. So I don't know, man. They're kind of a. I feel like that defense. They're 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 coached well on defense for the most part, right? They're a pretty decent defense, and um, you know Kittle's still there. Jimmy. Jimmy does all right, you know, when he when he wants, and uh, I feel like they're a prototypical. They're a prototypical decent team, even yeah. with the in, even with the injuries. Yeah. Um, to that note, uh, fuck. See, I mean, Seahawks are you know one of the best teams in the league. I think this might be competitive because I feel like they usually play each other very competitively, um, but I still got Seahawks winning that one. Maybe I don't know by a touchdown or four points, something like that. I'm with you on that, too. I think the Seahawks can win by about three points. Okay, so you see it close, too. I think it's going to be a close game, but, man, the Seahawks – and the only reason I think it's going to be close is because that Seahawks defense is kind of brutal. Um, I think I got exposed with the Cardinals. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I think it's Jamal. Jamal Adams has been out for a while. He'll definitely help when he gets back. But as of right now, um, I think it's going to be a tight game. But, yeah, I got the Seahawks still winning that game. Yeah, Seahawks safe pick for sure. And I think the last game of the – oh, no, it's two games left. We have a Cowboys-Eagles. Um, I mean, fuck, bro. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's kind of a weird game because that, this could potentially be, a, a, I guess you could say, NFC West or NFC East championship preview <laughs> because, uh, you know, they're, what are they both? They both have two wins apiece, and um, they're both tied for first, and they've, they've both looked horrible. <laughs> so that whole division is oh my gosh it's crazy the team should be able to make it to the playoffs this year okay i honestly bro and yes I, I was laughing about it at first but i think five wins could win that division bro i really oh, feel I, like... I wouldn't be shocked yeah i wouldn't be shocked <laughs> to be the and they win whoever wins that division will have to beat the team with the worst record of all time to go into the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah uh to that note man i mean the cowboys still have zeke and I feel like maybe that's enough. But they also who's have no quarterback now, right? Yeah, who is that kid? They call it 
Cooper Rush or something like that, or some some crazy made up name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. I think it was yeah. like Rush. I don't know. But, I mean, uh, I would. I don't have the uh, spread up on that one. Do you? No, I don't. But it's. I'm assuming it's close. I would it assume. To, yeah. Close to like a plus one, minus one. I would think. Or <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Who do you have winning that game? I think the Eagles win that game. Okay, um, you, and you think um, you think Cassandra is coming back? I think from taking a week off last week. Yeah. And uh, Wentz, he's one of those guys too where he's played all right, but also you know where the Eagles have been going for their he- his head too. So uh, I don't know. Like I, said, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a blowout either way, or if it's one of the most entertaining games of the year because <laughs> they're just bad, bro. Yeah. I'm kind of on the side that the Eagles might blow them out, to be honest. I don't really? Know the team, but, man, the Cowboys' defense is pr- – I think it's, like, all historically war- bad right now. And uh, I still think Carson Wentz is a good quarterback. I mean, just get the guy some freaking help, man. I mean, those receivers are pitiful. They have been for the last three years. 100%. Um, you know, one thing I didn't like seeing about Dallas and uh, is the – it seems like, like the team's kind of giving up on McCarthy like, um, and, like – or. They don't have each other's back, or I don't know what's going on over there, but it seems like they're not interested at all in competing, like, you know, at a high level. Where if, if it's tough, they're like, oh, fuck this. I'm yeah. out. Well, those reports came out, right? How they're saying they don't like Matt Na- or Matt, uh, Mike McCarthy. Yeah. They, uh, doesn't know what he's doing. They don't plan for anything. They can't adjust on the fly or something like that. So I think, yeah, I think that locker room's kind of falling apart a little bit. And, and that's never a good thing. But, yeah, that defense, like you said, one of the worst in history. I mean, it is what it is. Um, it looks like the last game is Bucks giants uh, Honestly, bro, I think that might be like a royal ass beating. I don't know if – I don't think that game will be close. Bucks seem like they're just on one right now. You got a, yeah, minus 11 and a half for the Bucks here. And I am all over oh, that. That's favorable, though. That's kind of favorable. That's – you know what I mean? It, it's tempting, right? It's kind of tempting. It is. It is very tempting. Because yeah, that – I said it, you know, before the season started. Everyone kind of has this like stigma that the Bucks' defense is shitty because it's the Bucks, but they have a top three defense in the league right now. Um, I think they're allowing the worst, the least amount of yards per game, if I'm not mistaken. They're killing it. They're seven in the league. Yeah, and uh, even last week, and hey, I, and I know the Raiders' defense isn't good at all, but Brady was dropping dimes. <laughs> I'm saying Brady's finding a stride. They got yeah. they got weapons, man. I mean, that team's scary. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Um, no, but yeah, dude. I mean that that, that it should be a, a fun week like it always is. There's always you know a couple standout games. There's always a couple of blowouts too. But um, it's been a fun year so far. I'm looking forward to it. Looking, I'm liking this fans being peppered into some of the games too. Makes it cool hearing the roars and shit and oh, cheers yeah. and all that. Um, but yeah, those are our picks for this week. One awesome. Do you have the Pittsburgh Steelers and Ravens too? Oh shit, dude! Yeah, I skipped. I skipped that one. Okay. Yeah, Fuck. Sure. And that's gonna be a hell of a game too. It might be a hell of a game. Uh, now Steelers are the only undefeated team in the NFL, right? Um, Lamar Jackson, he can be a cheat code at times. The Steelers' defense is pretty damn good, though. Um, fuck. I feel like a safe pick would be Pittsburgh, but Lamar special too. I don't know. Uh, how do you see that one going? So, yeah, in terms of spread, the Ravens are minus three and a half favorites. And, and I think the Steelers are going to cover that. But I got a slight lean that the Ravens win that game. I say 24 23 Ravens win. And you think just Lamar magic, or how, or what, how do you see that going? I think the Ravens are still a really good team. Mm-hmm. Um, that Steelers probably the best defense right now, but. And I don't know. This Ravens still have really good defense. It's hard to say. I mean, I think they're both very evenly matched teams. It's going to be a good game, right? That might be. That's probably yeah. game of the week for sure. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to give it. I'm going to give a put some faith in Lamar. I'm going to take the Ravens here. I have Lamar on fantasy, so I'm going to say I'm going to say the Ravens too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that all is that all your games on on your end? Yeah, that's all we got. All right, now. for sure. Those are our picks. We're glad you listened. And um, send anything you want, negative comments, positive comments. We probably won't respond or we might. You never know. Take the chance. Make them all, baby. (laughs) Yeah. Out.